The Loader brand is known all over. These are great developers, talented developers. So when we had the opportunity to come to India, and in this case, Mumbai specifically, right. we chose it. And a lot of that had to do with Loader. A lot of it has to do with India. Your new prime minister is doing a spectacular job in terms of outside of India. Uh, the respect that he's gendered is is really been great. So uh, we have the opportunity to work with another great developer, and uh, we chose Loda, and and we're very happy about it. So will there be more tie-ups with Loda uh, after this particular project? Is it, it could happen. It could very well happen. Uh, we have a great relationship. You know, we've been working on this project for almost three years. And they don't go quickly. To do them right, you have to be very careful. And we have the right location. We have a great building. We have all of the right amenities, super luxury. We didn't have to do as good as we did. It was very important to both of us. And right. we, uh, I think we've done a real, a real winner. We have uh, sales already have been through the roof. As you know, you've been hearing about it. And people love the building. They love the location. Uh, Mr. Lotha, this is your first tie up uh, with the Trump uh, brand, but are you looking at leveraging this brand perhaps to establish your presence lo uh, globally in your London market where you're uh, relatively new? The Trump organization, Mr. Trump's uh, company is very well known across the globe for doing a very high standard of real estate development and clearly that adds to our uh, brand's appeal whenever we uh, associate with them. Uh, we definitely find that in Mumbai, when we even before we've opened the show unit, which he will be inaugurating this afternoon, yeah. we've already sold over 100 units. Yes. And that really shows the strength and appeal and the confidence that the Trump Association uh, brings to buyers. We uh, will engage with them in talks on all projects which sort of uh, fit their criteria of you know right location, luxury development, uh, significant size developments, including in London. But, uh, Mr. Trump, this is just a tie-up uh, in terms of brand. There is no real financial investment here. Uh, why haven't we seen that happen yet? Well, uh, we actually think there will be. You know, India is very strong in terms of its laws and rules and regulations as right. to an investment. Uh, but we are looking at doing that because we feel so strongly about not only my partner and my the developer, but the development itself. We feel it's so good, and mm. we are looking to do. We do have rules and regulations in India that are different from most countries. In the United States, they welcome investment. In India, they're very careful about it. Right. And I'm not saying right or wrong, because it might be a good thing, frankly. I mean, sometimes in the United States, I disagree with that very strongly. But uh, they do have rules and regulations. But we are looking to make a substantial investment. You know, you've gone on record to say that India, the real estate market here, will be one of your top three uh, markets globally. But so far, all we've seen is two tie-ups. What is the game plan from here on? Which cities are you looking at? What kind of investments are you planning? Well, you know, two tie-ups is a lot of tie-ups. That's a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. really, it's two very important jobs, two great jobs. And the one in Mumbai is a very big one. So I don't like to go too fast. You know, I, I really stress quality over quantity. I could do 100. I turn down so many jobs because I don't want to do them. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in a very lucky position in life. I have a private company. It's a very massive company, and it's a very successful company. I do what I want to do. and. In this case, and with Loda and with Mumbai and the project itself, we're just excited about it. So, you know, we could do many, many projects in India and elsewhere, but we just don't choose to do that. We want to do very good ones. I really, I think it's important to say quality is much more important to me than quantity. I'll come back to that. Mumbai is one of your dominant markets besides London, of course. You have a few projects here and there. But are you looking at foring into more markets within India? And what is your outlook really on the Mumbai real estate market where, you know, prices have peaked? Uh, do you expect that to continue? How do you uh, expect the demand from here to be? Within India, Loda remains very focused on the Mumbai market. We, right. we have projects in Hyderabad and Pune, which we continue to sort of uh, grow over there. But clearly, Mumbai is our home market, it's our core market, and we feel very bullish about Mumbai. Uh, we believe that as the economy picks up, there will be a lot of investment activity in Mumbai. There will be job creation, and ultimately, that drives up uh, real estate market. While real estate prices all across the globe remain a subject of contention, Mr. Right. Trump just mentioned uh, a few minutes ago at the press conference that Mumbai's real estate prices are quite low as compared to any major global city. We do see that prices have to be in line with affordability. People should be able to earn uh, uh, well and then consequently buy well. But at the same time, construction costs in India are unusually low and they are going up very quickly. Mm -hmm. And hence, we feel that in the medium term, prices will go up. Real estate has been one asset class which has given a lot of returns to investors, middle class investors have made most of their wealth in real estate over the last 15 years. Right. And we continue to believe that real estate will give good returns in the years to come.
Mr. Trump, what is your view on the Mumbai real estate market here? Prices have been, like I said, on the rise. Uh, there's a lot of unsold invest inventory because developers have not really brought down prices. Uh, it, given that you had a, a global experience and the sort of cycle that we've seen, do you, there are fears that, uh, you know, there might be a bubble in the making which might burst. Uh, what is your take on this? Well, I really do understand that love very well because, as you know, we're in many, many right. cities and countries all over Across the world. The world. And, uh, this is one, and one of the reasons we're here is because I think your prices are very low. If you look at Mumbai, and as a city, it's a great city, it's a vibrant city. The people are so vibrant. I spent a lot of time here this morning, even just looking around and studying. And I will say, this is a very vibrant place. And I see cities that are nothing compared to Mumbai, nothing. And mm -hmm. their prices are much higher. So I really, you know, it's very important for me. I want to come in at a low. I don't want to come in at a high. I really believe that the prices in, in this area are going to be substantially higher. I don't understand how they can, in fact, we were talking before, how they can be this low. So we'll see what happens. But one of the things I like doing is building a building and seeing prices go up because the people that buy or invest or whatever it is they're doing, uh, they want to see that happen. But I think this is a great opportunity for people. And as far as other developers, I mean, I also know some of the product that's being built, and I think they were trying to take advantage of the market by mm. not maybe giving them the right product. I think we're doing something that we don't actually have to do. We're, we're, giving, we're going a step that we wouldn't have to do to make this successful. We're going super, super quality, which right. is so important. And people are seeing that, and that's why the units or the apartments are flying off the shelves. That's why they're going so fast. You know, hospitality is a big part of your business. Can we see a Trump hotel coming into India soon? I can. I can see that happening uh, maybe sooner than you think. It's, uh, we're a very hot company in terms of uh, we have the Trump Hotel collection, yeah. and it's one of the fastest growing. And in terms of super luxury, the fastest growing in the world. We have tremendous product already. Right. We have the number one hotel in North America. We just got the old post office, on, which is being converted to, I think, you know, maybe one of the great hotels of the world. We have many, many hotels, one going up in Rio, open before the Olympics, a great location, best location. So I can see a lot of things happening. And as far as Mumbai and as far as India is concerned, absolutely, I see that happening. And probably many more than one. And maybe this gentleman will be doing at least one with us. I hope so. By when is my next question? I think fairly soon. I think you'll be hearing about something fairly soon. Uh, in the hospitality sector? In the hospitality. All I right. consider that real estate. You know, some people, I consider that real estate. But um, in the hospitality section of real estate, I believe that we could be doing something fairly soon in India. India is an amazing, vibrant country. And as I said before, your prime minister, your new prime minister, has done a lot of good for India in mm. terms of his image and the image of India throughout the world. I, I speak as an outsider. I speak as somebody coming from New York, but representing a large group of people that are looking to India. And I will say that India's uh, image and reputation since his election has absolutely gone up. He's done an amazing job. And recently, our uh, capital markets regulator introduced guidelines for uh, introducing REITs, real estate investment trusts, right. uh, for the commercial segment. Is that something that you might be interested in? You might look at some significant investment there. Well, it's possible. I think they did the right thing, by the way, but it's possible. But I, uh, money has to flow into India. You want right. money to flow in. You know, as, as I said at the press conference, money's going to come in and then the infrastructure is going to be fixed because they're going to have the money to fix the infrastructure. So you have transportation, you have better roads, you have better highways because money is coming in with jobs like Trump Tower Mumbai and other jobs, that's a really good thing. That's a very positive thing. And if the political people and representatives in India spend the money wisely, your infrastructure needs and everything can be taken care of, which would be beautiful. So uh, do you have plans to invest in infrastructure or the commercial sector? Not so much infrastructure, but I would certainly do other developments here, which will ultimately lead to infrastructure. All right. Uh, you know, REITs, now that... Uh SEBI has paved the way for them to be introduced. Are you, do you have any plans of listing any of your commercial assets on the exchanges sometime soon? We believe the SEBI has done a very uh, good job. The government has done a good job by bringing in this much needed regulation because it will allow 
the end investor, the end, end buyer who currently can only buy units to play uh, the real estate market can now buy smaller size, make smaller size investments and take opportunity of the upside that real estate generates. We will definitely look at it closely and as the regulations uh, sort of start playing out over the next 12 to 18 months, I'm sure there will be a number of REIT listings and we will also consider what assets from our portfolio fit into that. So quickly, uh, three words from you. Uh, the top three investment bets in India and across globally, if you were to bet on right now, cities? Uh, well, Mumbai, uh, London, and uh, Bangalore. Um, Mr. Trump, uh, the same question to you. In India itself, what are the top three cities where you would bet um, your investments? Well, I mean, I've already bet. I've bet right here. That's and as wrong. you know, I've, I've also put something in, a, uh, in another place, and it'll be, we'll be talking about that a little bit tomorrow. Uh, but uh, you know, you could also say Delhi. You could. There are there are numerous places. I, I think it. I, I don't like to be so specific. Mm. I do feel strongly about Mumbai, but I think I feel really strongly about India. I think India is an amazing place to invest, and I think a lot of people are coming. And the fact that we are doing Trump Tower Mumbai is mm. all over the world. People are calling me from Paris. What are you doing in Mumbai? You know, they're all calling. These are wealthy people, and these are people that control tremendous amounts of wealth and funds and other things. And it's what we're doing today, and, and honestly, what Loda has done by doing this deal, I think has been really good for India. Beyond Mumbai, I think it's mm. been really good for India. People are seeing a lot. This is getting such tremendous coverage today. Everybody's here. And I think ultimately that's very good for investment in India, which is a very good thing. You know, you mentioned the new government and Narendra Modi several times in your interview today. If I could just ask you as a global investor, uh, what is your perception of the Indian market? Are you bullish in the long term? And do you attribute that to the change in uh, government at the center? I do attribute it to the government. I am very bullish. And I also attribute it to the people. You have amazing people. You have a tremendously uh, energetic group of people living and, and a tremendous population in terms mm -hmm. of size, in terms of the mass. But you have amazing people. And I know so many people from India where they come and they buy apartments in Trump Tower in New York. I have many people living in Trump Tower that are friends of mine. They are fantastic people. And ultimately, it's all about the people when you think about it. What I wanted to ask is, as an investor, do you think there are more barriers in India compared to the other countries that you're invested in? How do you see what is the ease of business doing in India? How do you see that? Well, the government has pretty strong regulations as right. far as investment in India, which is different from a lot of countries. Many, many countries, there's no regulation whatsoever. If you want to come, if you come from Japan and you want to buy in a certain country, like you want to buy in, buy in New York, mm. in terms of New York City and the United States, what happens is, you know, there's virtually no regulation. Uh, India is the opposite of that. Uh, again, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's bad. Uh, but it's certainly different. And uh, maybe India will start thinking about that. But, you know, I also know they want to keep it local. So I get it. I'm not really disputing it. But it makes it more difficult to invest. I also think, though, if you do invest, I think it's a great place to invest. All right. Thank you so much, thank Mr. Lolo and Mr. Thank Trump, you very for much. joining us. Thank it you. was a pleasure. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.